Hey YouTubers, this is Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Thursday, October 24th, 2024. I just videoed this truck and I was just about to finish the video and I realized I didn't put it on airplane mode and then the phone rang and it shuts off the video. So I have to start over. And I was thinking about that, thinking, oh, that's terrible. But then I thought, you know, if that's the worst problem that I have today, I have no problems. I mean, if that's as bad as it gets, there's nothing wrong at all. That is the truth. So with that correct perspective in mind, let me uh, tell you about this Subaru Sambar. This is a video for Kevin in Arkansas. And Kevin is a long distance customer. He um, won't be able to see this truck until the truck shows up. So for our long distance customers, as we have done for many years, we, um, <clears throat> we take a very um, careful approach. We video every little ding, every scratch, every everything. And now I know where everything is, so I'm going to be a little quicker this second time around. And uh, see, there's the silver lining. And so um, that way, when he sees the truck for the first time, his expectations will at least be met, if not exceeded. And we have a 100% perfect track record for all these years. We've never had anybody where they see the truck for the first time when it shows up, and they say, whoa. That doesn't look anything like what I had in mind. That's never happened. So um, let's go ahead and let's uh, let's let's start this. And also, we have a service department where we check the front diff fluid, the rear diff fluid, the transfer case fluid, the transmission fluid, the antifreeze in the radiator, the battery, the brake fluid, the windshield washer fluid even gets filled, and and um, and we make sure the clutch is good, and we make sure it idles properly at normal operating temperature, and that the four-wheel drive works. I think I mentioned that already. And we do all that, and we use full synthetic oil, and new air filter, new oil filter, and then we make it available for sale. So we really try hard to run a tight ship and do things the right way. Uh, so we'll get started here. Please subscribe to our channel. Hit the subscribe button. And also hit notification and then you'll be notified when we post a video. And then because we're getting mini trucks in all the time and, um, and then, um, you know, you can be the first one to see the really nice things that come in. And the really nice ones don't ever really make it to the website. The super, super nice stuff gets sold first before it ever gets up there. Okay, so what do we have here? You might notice that this has a different look to it. <clears throat> this is called a high cab. This is a 1992 Subaru Sambar for Kevin in Arkansas. It's a 4x4 five speed with an extra low first gear. And it has 29,476 original miles. So let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, first thing we're going to do <clears throat> is go around the perimeter of the windshield and look for rust and there is no rust in fact the front of the truck is completely ding free i already checked it earlier these are the round headlights so when your headlight gets burnt out you just go to the auto parts store and buy a 12 volt round headlight there's a scuff mark there and a scuff mark there but I thought those scuff marks might actually be able to be removed, but I don't know that for sure. Coming down the door pillar, we have a ding right there. <clears throat> and we have a little bend in the metal there, which probably can be straightened. The tire is beautiful. These are all four Goodyear ice nav, and that is an ice and snow tire. And the rubber compound in ice and snow tire is softer. It actually grips much better. We have a scratch here and a scratch here, a scratch there. They've all three been touched up. This is removable with your fingernail. The bedside panel has three dings. A ding here, 
here and here. Under the bed, looks very nice. And I may seem like I'm going faster than normal. And the reason is because I've already seen all this once. So I'm, I've got it all memorized. Another pretty wheel and tire there. No rust under the bed. Now, the bed is probably the most important thing. And this is a beautiful bed. You just have regular dings or scratches from use. But is that's normal in a bed. And this where the bed meets the cab looks very good. Just some very gentle surface rust. If you wanted to, you could get a screwdriver, pull up this seam sealer, and lay down another coat of even, you know, white silicone to match what the factory did. But this is a factory silver truck. This was painted silver at the factory. It's not an aftermarket paint job. So the engine cover looks beautiful. Very good condition. There are two dings on the tailgate. There's a ding here and a ding here. Nice looking sticker. I've heard good things about that company. Look at that plastic. Nice. Now, there is a little impression there and it was touched up, which I think is a good sign where they ding that up but then they got silver paint and touched it up. I like that. Now we've got a ding here, 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 and here. Battery cover, which is unusual. I would wire brush the scuffy looking paint and then paint it again, make it look pretty. Look under here, guys. That is so beautiful. Very, very nice. Now, this door does not have any dings at all. It just has some scuffs. Beautiful. Um, is that a ding? Uh, no, but it is a scratch. It could be a ding. Um, now, we do have some impact right there. Again, two nice tires, one there and one there. The, the Goodyear ice now. Beautiful, beautiful under there. No rust, no damage. Beautiful, beautiful door. No rust. And no rust under here either. Beautiful. Very pretty. That plastic thing is a seat cover. This is separated. So, as opposed to torn. So, somebody probably used like a cleaner, like a alkaline-based purple power or something, and it dissolved the thread. You can see the thread is kind of just undone. So, if you took a curved needle, you could pull this back together. So, that's not torn. Nice looking back here. Huh. The fact that they went through the trouble to do that means something to me. Oh, here's another nice thing about the high cab. It's got a shelf. And if there's any gold bars up here, then I don't think Kevin has purchased the truck. Kevin, if you bought the truck already, let me know. And if there's gold bars up here, you can have them. I can't really see completely. All right. I'm going with no gold bars. <clears throat> but I didn't feel the whole area. There might be one still tucked up in there. All right, and that's that dent that I told you about earlier. But if you got a pair of channel locks and a rag, that dent is gone. Beautiful. You can see it was just washed. Kind of the same thing here. Same phenomena. Okay, so now let's take this for a drive.
It's in two wheel drive. I know that because that's your four wheel drive indicator. Okay, so now let's take it for a run. Look at our beautiful fall decoration. <laughs> Isn't that nice? All right. So now we have a pilgrim family that's moved in. All right. So the bedside panel is a little squeaky. And that just needs to be tightened. It's easy to tighten. And all you need is a 10 millimeter wrench or a hammer. So the 10 millimeter wrench will move the handle and make it tighten, or the hammer will bend the tang uh, and put it back to where it was 25 years ago. All right, so now what we're gonna do, and Kevin, if you buy the truck, say, Hey, please tighten the the, tail, the the bedside panel. And it's not any big deal, but I noticed that. All right, so now we're getting it up to speed. That's 60 miles per hour. And it feels fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. No pulling to the left. No pulling to the right. It just drives nicely. All right, so now we're going to make a U-turn and go up that hill. And I just did that with one finger on the wheel. So that is um, a sign that they are easy to turn the wheel in, which makes sense um, because the trucks only weigh 1,700 pounds. And this, this actually weighs, I'm gonna say 1,650, 1,675 pounds, something like that. Okay, now, we're in fifth gear, and we're going up a pretty significant incline. And notice that we're holding at 70 kilometers per hour. That's 45 miles per hour. And we are about to go around a steep curve. Right here, this is a 90 degree right hand turn, and we are going to leave it in fifth gear, and we're going 35 kilometers per hour. That is super slow. That is about 21, 22 miles per hour. And look what we're doing, guys. We are increasing in speed up a steep hill in fifth gear. And that says everything that you need to know about the compression, um, and another way of saying that is the horsepower. So this increases in speed up a steep hill at 23 miles per hour in fifth gear, guys. That right there is everything. So, Kevin, if you would like to um, take this truck and make it yours, let us know. Tell us to please tighten the bedside panels. <clears throat> it takes less than a minute for all four latches and um, and will make your life much more enjoyable uh, that you don't have to listen to the bedside panels rattle. Um, so um, if you, if you want to get this truck, call uh, uh, Stephanie or Hannah. Stephanie's phone number is 336-501-2630. Or you can email us at sales at mayberryminitrucks.com. And if you have any questions, you can call Justin about the truck. I mean, I pretty much have shown everything. Oh, and that's where the VIN number is on the Subaru, right there. There's a tag right there. And it's also on the frame behind me on the frame. That's the second place it is. Um, Justin's phone number is 336-970-3885. Again, thank you for watching our video, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.